vertical justification. Hmm. According to Wikipedia, it is the automatic adjustment of vertical space between lines so that columns and pages have an even top and bottom margin. In InDesign, vertical justification refers really to the vertical alignment text can have within its own text frame. And we find the vertical alignment setting by choosing Object, Text Frame Options. And in the general section of this dialog box, we will find the vertical justification setting. It contains four different alignment options. Top center, bottom, and justify. The justify setting I will show you on this multi-column frame below. I'll leave this on center for now so you can actually see that alignment changing. Now you can also change your vertical justification settings by using your control panel. The settings are available right here. Top, bottom, center, and that's the justify setting. So what if you can't actually see these buttons in your control panel? Well, in that case, either your monitor settings might not be big enough to display all the settings, or your control panel is set up in such a way that it does not display these settings. What do you do to fix it? Well, you go to the panel menu, choose customize, and then right here, under all these different options, you just check under the object menu that the vertical justification option is selected. If you want to maximize what you can see in the control panel, then just tick all of these on or off. But there might be certain settings you never use, maybe like character scaling or something. Then you can say, well, I don't ever want to see that in the control panel. So I'm just going to switch that option off. Let's get down to this bottom frame now and let's have a look at the last of the vertical justification settings that of align justify. So I have the bottom frame selected on my page and as you can see um, this frame is defined by multi having multiple columns. However we have a bit of a problem here at the bottom. Um, it's rather ragged, it just doesn't look right. So you can have a similar effect if you're looking at facing pages in a long publication where the two opposite pages, the bottoms don't quite line up. And overall, that's really not a very pretty effect. So this is where the vertical justification setting align justify comes in. So we're going back to the text frame options under the object menu. And I'm now going to change this to justify. And what you can see is that the top and the bottom of the text in the frame is now nicely lined up. Pretty? Mm, I can sort of hear you say, I see some issues, Kari, it's not quite right. Well, basically what happens here in the second column is InDesign has to get rid of some space and it needs to put that space somewhere and what it's doing out of the box, it pushes that between every single possible op the option that it's got available. So it's going to go between the lines and it's going to go between the paragraphs. And as a result, it can appear that the letting in some paragraphs is slightly larger than in other paragraphs, which you can see in these two neighboring paragraphs. So how do we fix it? Well, to avoid that from happening, what you can do is instruct InDesign to first of all try and justify the text vertically by adding some space between the paragraphs. And we do that by increasing the paragraph spacing limit. And you can see as soon as I've done that and it, I increase the setting higher than zero, what actually happens is that defined amount is first of all going to be pushed as space between the paragraphs. And if it then still needs to add more space, yes, it will still push the remainder of the space between the lines. But you can immediately see that this is a, this is a heaps better effect. I'm going to click OK. And you will notice there is still another issue. The very last uh, column here, that should be a much shorter column. That column should not be justified uh, because it's the last 
uh, bit of the story. It's the end of the story. We can see that right here by the fact that that hash symbol is, simply, is displayed there. I have a little trick that I apply. Overall, if an object has text wrapped, wrap applied to it, I'm just drawing an object and I'll apply just a standard text wrap on it and it interacts with a frame or a column in this case, it will automatically say, well, hang on, justify, justify setting will no longer work. So that works really well. Now, if you need to apply this little trick quite often, then what you can do is create a new InDesign library and just call it library. And with this item still selected, add that item. I'm holding down the option or the Alt key on the keyboard as I'm doing that. And I'm going to call this end of story marker. Click OK. So I've now put this item in a library and I can delete it from the page. So why did I want to do that? Well, basically it makes it so much easier for me to reuse this object. And the other thing that I can do with it, I can place it as an inline item. Because what's the problem with a floating item? If I get more text, that little item will stay behind on the previous page. Whereas I would really love that to be a true end of story marker and actually flow with, that, with, with the last line of this text. So I'm going to insert that as a end of story marker right here after the last character. Put my cursor um, at the end of the line. I'm going to hit the return key. I've got this end of story marker selected and from the panel menu here I'm choosing place item. That's now automatically pushed that end of story marker in and it prevents that last column from being justified. And it works really well because if I copy some of this text to increase uh, the, the, the amount of text and you will see this fourth column is now properly justified whereas when I go to the next page you can still see that the end of the story is not actually justified. So it's just a little trick that I apply and things are now looking really really nice. So there's a little trick, a little bit on vertical justification and Kari's down and dirty trick of putting a fake end of story marker in. Enjoy!